Hello, view, YouTube viewers. This here is Johnny Fly sixty nine coming at you once again. Yeah, you know what? I picked up a little piece of newer technology when it comes to vaping. This one does not come with a drip tip, of course. This here is the Freak Show, and yes, it is pink. See the little Freak Show guy? You flip it upside down, it says paranormal on it. Yeah, came in this nice, lovely little tin. It's got the little Watofo thing on the bottom, so that way you know it's the authentic uh, Watofo tin, or Watofo, or Watufu, or whatever. It didn't have the scratch and sniff thing because, eh, you know, when you buy them at the shop, sometimes they remove the scratch and sniff thing, so that way you can check the numbers and all that. But, let me pause you out for a sec, and I will take it off the K-Box... Well, I'll open it up. I'll take it up off the K-Box. So that way you can see what's inside. Okay, now. You see the top is off. It's right here next to my You Got E-Juice. And that is fruity cereal. That's what I'm dripping. But looky here. Looky, 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 looky here. It's a dual coil. Each coil is nine wraps. It is a twisted pair of 38s and pair of 32s twisted together yeah it's four wires in one so <laughs> each coil brings it down to a 0.45 the k-box will only go as low as a 0.4 but now right underneath the coils right here and let me see if i can get a better view of this okay well anyways right here and right here Here's your bottom airflow. It comes up through here. comes up through this little channel. Hits your coil on both sides. comes up. Does the same thing. Now, the Freak Show is kind of different. With the top cap, see how it's got that hole? It's got that one so you can set it up for singles. And there's the other one straight across from the other one. And you set it up as dual holes. Okay. The top cap does come off. The drip tip is removable. And it takes a standard 510. If you look inside... You'll see how it's kind of tapered and it's got that rubber seal on the top for your drip tip. It's tapered like that so that way you don't get all the spit back that some, that some drippers give you. You know, has a lot of airflow. Talk about the flavor, the flavor, the flavor. Oh, yes, the flavor. And <clears throat> depending upon your build, will depend whether or not it chucks vapor. Okay. Now. The lower the ohm, the lower the the lower ohm load or low, lower resistant load, it's going to burn hotter with the high airflow. It's going to feel like a cool to medium, to a low warm vape, unless you hold the button for severely long, and then it's going to feel hot. Okay. Now your juice is going to play a part in whether or not you get clouds or not. Some people like to vape a 50-50, some like to vape uh 70 30 some like to vape a 80 20 you know how it goes anyways all right so that being said this is the watofo let me take it off of here and you will get a look at the serial number and all that on this one okay now if you look at the bottom it says made by watofo and it's got the paranormal Flip it over, it says Freak Show, and it is a 2030 is the serial number, okay? Now, a lot of people complain about these flooding and so on and so forth. They think they have bad O-rings on there. No, it's not the O-rings fault as to why you flood, okay? Now, some folks don't understand that when you paint your coils with juice, you see them little air holes like in the front right there. Well, it's got one on the back side too. You can see it right there. And your juice will overflow, will, will run the, down those and out the sides, out these openings. Okay, so be careful how you drip. Don't over flood it. Okay, vape safe, vape happy. As long as you're not lighting up tobacco products, it doesn't matter what you're vaping or how you're vaping. Just as long as you're vaping, you'll live happy, you'll live longer. And as Giant Fly 69 always says, I'll catch you later, YouTubers. Adios.